You were invited to be participants in the most dangerous experiment of your life. Now realizing the risk, you agree to a mind-altering nightmare-infested journey with little hope of escape. Explore the nightmares of you and other participants and attempt to be the last player with any sanity remaining. Nocturnes. Don't play it alone. Eh, that's because it's for two to six players. With Gartuzzi friends, Mr. J, B-Man, back with our friend Tiffany, our favorite game designer. Actually, well, our only yeah, game the only game designer. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well, we're very happy that you're here. Yes, right definitely. Now. Back with another exciting game for us, her new one. Actually, it's not really new, right? It's kind of been... It's been around, but I'm promoting it at this time. It's, okay. it's newly published, is Ooh. what it is. Gotcha. So last time, if you guys watched our last video, we played Battle Gnomes. We finally got our copy of it, so we'll yes. be able to do all those rematches as we were talking about. Super excited for that. But we're not here for this game. We're here for this one. <laughs> Super excited about this. We're big horror fans. We love scary stuff, so this is going to be fun. I'm glad I got it to you guys in time for Halloween. Yeah, yes. that's what we were definitely hoping for. And we mm -hmm. screwed up on the costume. We were supposed to wear a costume. It was really good Harley Quinn one, but the tights were just too tight. It was too revealing. <laughs> so you want to explain the game to us uh, a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Nocturnes is about a group of people who have agreed to participate in a sleep experiment, but it goes horribly wrong and you all start going slowly insane. You want to be the last person to still have your sanity at the end of the game, and that person is the only one that wakes up, psychologically intact, everybody else goes bonkers, is really what happens. Uh, and they use it, uh, you use tiles in this game for the dreams, which are actually nightmares, and you travel across the game board, which is made up of these nightmare tiles. And then you also, along with trying to avoid going insane, you try to drive the other players insane faster than you go. You, you, you yourself go insane. So is it kind of like you can um, like mess somebody else, like kind of screw somebody else over during the game? Oh, absolutely. Okay. A lot of times this game involves in order to mess with other players, you have to in some way hurt yourself. And it's kind of about what are you willing to do to make that happen? Okay. And so it takes a little bit of a strategy there to okay, how badly can I you know injure my own sanity to impact somebody else so kind of like a, a saw movie where awesome. can you hurt this person <laughs> in order to free yourself yeah type of thing what kind do you of, want to sacrifice right <laughs> okay exactly <laughs> well that definitely sounds fun uh, now I noticed it says 13 plus but do you consider it more for like because Battle Gnomes was kind of based more towards kids, pretty much right? yeah yeah so this, all ages. Is, this one is 13 plus because I have played it with a, a couple different groups of people. Um, some people have no problem with their kids seeing the images on the, in this game. Zero problems with it. But there are a couple that are either a little too dark, uh, or there would just raise there would just be too many questions about the images on the cards. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. To see I think it really games. depends on the family style. Really? That's yeah. what I was saying. As being a responsible game producer or creator, I'm sorry. You have to you have to make sure that it's rated right for that, or you can get in trouble for that. Or exactly. Something. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. You definitely just want to be honest with people about the fact that some people under those ages, it's not going to be very. It's not going to be as comfortable for. I actually play tested it with a family of people that had a 14 <laughs> and 11 year old. Um, they all enjoyed it, and the 11 year old was like, "You need to put a dragon in there," and I was like. All right, how can I say no to that? So now there's a dragon in the game because this 11 year old requested that I put a, a dragon because that was their idea of really scary. That's funny. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. That's perfect. How do you plan on promoting this game? Like, what are your. So, it's interesting right now. Uh, I do have it on the Game Crafter available. I just wanted to publish it and get it out to people because it's a lot faster than something like a mass order where I can you know, sell it to the public, including a Kickstarter would postpone the ability to release it to people and I wanted it to be available before Halloween. So uh, it's more of a soft promotion and then I've decided after the new year with the games I've completed, I'm gonna start working a lot harder with distribution options. So getting it into the stores, working it in that on those uh, on those avenues. So with this not kickstarted, gonna do more of a soft promotion, but it is available for purchase at the 
Game Crafter. And how much is it going for? So this on the Game Crafter is about $35. Uh, and it comes with, of course, 25 uh, tiles that are about this big, 54 cards to play the game, um, components to move your pie pieces that you move around the board, um, of course the rule sets in the box. So I see that it's two to six players and 45 to nine minutes. Is the 45 to nine minutes accurate or would you say, depending on? It really depends on the group. Uh, people that I've played it with, we've had got it down to a 20 minute game. Oh, okay. You know, because it depends on how much you impact each other, what tiles come out. It's only, I mean, 90 minutes is the longest it will go. I mean, okay. it's usually about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how many players there are. Yeah, so I'm um, definitely excited to start playing. So I think I'll get uh, some people in here, we'll start playing, and then you can run us through it, and, you know. I'm actually really excited for it, so. Good. Screw um, each other over. Really so good. definitely, guys, go uh, to, what was the website again? TheGameCrafter. TheGameCrafter.com. Uh, pick up your copy of this. Pick up a copy of Battle Gnomes. You can still get it at RandomGames.com, yeah. And can you get that one on the Game Crafter? Well, you too? can't get it just yet. I still have to do distribution okay. for the the backers. But definitely, you know, check those. <laughs> check Battle Gnomes out. You'll have it soon. Yes. Check just out order it line. now. Yeah, just, just order it just now. Just do so what we tell you. Just it. order the game. <laughs> it is worth it. These guys so know what they're talking about. <laughs> we know. But again, we want to thank you for coming down. Yes, I know it's a little bit of a it's trip. It's always fun. And, uh, you know, it's always fun having you come down so we can play these new games. Yeah. And uh, oh, a little more competition for us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So after playing this game, now I just want to say, you, if you watched our other video, you know how much we like Battle Gnomes. Yes. This game was so much better. Really right up our alley. I mean, it was perfect. It had that scare factor that we enjoy. It also had that challenging factor where you could just screw everyone over. And believe me, I got screwed over in the first game and I came back and whooped ass on the second game. Yeah, and it was fun playing it with Tiffany because she played a second game with us and she was like, oh, I don't really want to know if I want to play because I'm going to win because everybody, like, nobody wants to attack me. And we're like, yeah, don't worry about that in this family. She was the first one out. Yeah. We made sure we got rid of her. Yes. <laughs> And another thing that I really liked about this game is that like you could form like good alliances. Like mm -hmm. we had a good one going on. You know, you can help out each other and then just all battle royale at the end. It was perfect. I mean, the cards were great. I mean, I, I just I love this game. I'm excited to play it again. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Yeah, I think so on Battle Notes we gave that one an eight. This one we probably give a nine, probably nine point five. Yeah. I mean, I just really enjoyed this game. It goes quick. It's really competitive, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, and one of the best features of this game is the changing of the board, because you get those little panels every time that you go, or what are they? Tiles. Yeah, it's those tiles. The little tiles. And you can put them wherever you want, so you can strategically place them to where you're continuously helping yourself, or you're continuously screwing somebody else over. And it's interesting to see all the different setups. I think the only thing we would have liked that didn't give it a 10, probably a little more gore in the things, means that was a scary one. Yes. And... Uh, there's an erotic card, and if it was a little <laughs> bit more erotic, I would definitely give it a 10. I'm just saying, <laughs> no silhouettes. Let's just go for the full thing. So guys, make sure you go out and check this game out. You just, uh, thegamecrafter.com is where you can get it from. $35, I believe she said. Yeah. But definitely worth it. It'll it'll be a game that you play with your family a few times. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a household game. I mean, if you're into any kind of freaky stuff like that, the gore, the just losing your sanity, it's perfect. All right, guys. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. You know, if there's anything you want us to do, challenges, anything like that, go ahead and comment down below. You know, we're here for you guys. Check out the local. You guys got any local spots that you want to see the interviews with? Let us know. We'll get it done. Yep. So until next time, guys, when you choose to spend your hard earned money, make sure you choose, choose smart. smart. Take it easy, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our last video and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And we will see you next time.